So tell me what some of these tools are. Okay, this is where I do all of my, uh, all my experimenting. Experimenting, okay. <laughs> so when I start a painting, I usually start with ink, right? And this ink is not any ordinary ink, just to be insured. This is, um, this is cuttlefish ink. And it's made in, it's prepared in Germany, you know, so they squeeze all of the cuttlefish. It's getting more and more expensive because they're, of course, it's... Cuttlefish? Like, is yeah, a, this ink from comes fish? from cuttlefish. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. And, uh, and it's a beautiful hue of uh, brown. That, that I start with. But when I'm doing large canvases, I usually just use Sumi ink from Japan. But basically, okay, look, I use the best paint that I can find. This here is David Davis. Yeah, paint. I was going to ask you, how do you know what tools when you're well, going, if you're if selecting you're, uh, how to, what, what products are best? If you're a novice at it and you just really want to know, you can feel the weight of the paint. You just feel how heavy? Oh, yeah. That's quite heavy, right? And this is almost done. Feel how heavy that is. Oh my goodness, See? it is. And uh, these are paints with a with a huge pigment in it. And this is a cheap paint. I'll show you the difference. Um, look, this is a cheap paint. So it weighs... Look, I can't show you the cover because I want to embarrass oh, you're the right, You're right, you're right. <laughs> but you feel, feel the difference? And then mo some of the time now, I... What is this? This the, Some of the time I grind my own paints. I use... This is pure pigment. This is a beautiful color. My superhero will be this color. This is Egyptian blue. Oh, Look at that. It's pure pigment. Colors. And you get yourself colors. a nice piece of glass. And then you use this grind, this muller, you know? Um, like almost right. like and when you're you grinding just do it. So, so it's, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like a half an hour. And I and I mix the linseed oil with it, with this, and those circular and, the okay. and then you get this paste like this. Right? But basically, you know, I use um, the best paints I could find. And this is from China. So I had to really do a lot of looking around when I was in China. Now, what do paints cost? Very expensive, they're, depending they're, on the hue. Okay, depending on the color. This is a tube of a million. This usually costs about $80. How do you, how do you, how do you create other colors? You want to see something fascinating? Yeah. Okay, so like brown. I use a lot of brown, of course, because I have this beautiful pigment. <laughs> I have... <laughs> Latino my flesh tone, gone my white. flesh tone color, right? <laughs> so, like this is this is um, a lizard and crimson. Okay. This is red, right? Oh, that's I'm gonna be beautiful. stingy with it, right? And this is a sap green. You're at eighty dollars a tube. I would be too. Because <laughs> I'm not gonna use it. I'm just gonna show you, right? Just like that, right? Mm -hmm. Right. And so, if I'm doing my color, my flesh tone. So it's a. a Crimson and kind of like a green. Alizarin crimson mm -hmm. and sap green. And sap right? green. And this here is a yellow ochre, right? Yellow ochre. So underneath my skin, underneath a flesh tone, you put that, right? Mm hmm Let's see. And then you have that. But I'm not going to show you. But I'm just going to show you that this is the, um, the um, yellow ochre. That's what mm -hmm. I would start my skin tone mm -hmm. with. All right. All right. All right. And um, check this out. Now, this red and this green will make the richest brown that you ever want to see. Oh. That's the richest. It almost looks black to me. No, no, no. That's because mm -hmm. you can't see. <laughs> that's true. This is the richest brown that you ever going to oh, get. Oh, there. I Look see it now. See it? I like deep, Isn't that dark beautiful chocolate brown. Chocolate Hershey, beautiful brown. <laughs> and, Delicious and what, brown. What, what you would do, you, 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 you go, you know, you do your outline with this br uh, brown and, and then you blend it in. And, uh, oh my gosh, look at that. You know, you blend it in and, and you'll have your, your, your color, you know. See the red and the green. Okay, so that's how you get your brown. Your richest brown. I love it. Now, if I wanted to get a lighter brown, or don't a mix, brown. don't mix white with it or something. If you're thinking that, no. what would I mix with? What it? a lighter brown. Well, a lighter brown. Mm, well, I use burnt umber for the next, and then a red umber. But for a lighter brown, I'd probably. Well, you see, that's why you start with 
yellow ochre. Mm -hmm. Then you use turpentine to like take off the top layer and then a little bit of this brown will be on top of this dry yellow ochre and it'll be lighter. How do you get the right skin tones for uh, fair people? You mean white people? Yeah, white people. Okay, you mean, okay, so <laughs> first I would start with white. Uh, I would start with the titanium white. Okay. And the ivory black and I would mi mix a nice fine gray. And I would paint Ooh. the entire body gray with different light light areas, dark areas. And then that dries, right? Mm -hmm. And then you, go, you then you can mix a, a raw sienna. You can mix a raw sienna That's a beautiful with, color. with a, a little bit of this. Um, oh, here it is. This here that I'm running out, and this is another expensive tube. This is a um, cadmium red. Cadmium red. Cadmium red, red right? Beautiful. Now watch this. That almost looks like coral lipstick. Watch this. Okay, so look. Don't mix a lot because it's too hot. Mm-hmm. But right, look. Okay, now watch this. If you if you if you mix this like that, let's see, show you a little more. I won't be stingy with this one. All right, so be careful not to get so hot with it. Mm -hmm. And then that's look at this. That you're not you're you're Latin, but yeah, you know. No, it matches. So, I wish but, I was that color. <laughs> but watch this. Watch this. And then you have, hang That's on. That's like the spray tan color. Just disappear to my. See, that I'm most comfortable like this. Okay, this is a titanium white, right? Now watch this. And now you have gray underneath. Right. Then you mix a little white. Look at that. Oh, my. You see that? Mm hmm. And then you can get lighter and lighter. It's almost like a beige. Yeah, you get the beige, the different levels of beige mm -hmm. tones. And then here, look how close that, well, oops, oops you don't want to do that. <laughs> well, I get that off later, don't That's worry. Okay. You don't want that on the diamonds, sweetheart. <laughs> okay, so watch this, look. So you have that dark. Wow. You see that? That is neat. And then a little bit more, if it's hotter red, watch mm -hmm. this. More the, like the Indian tone, skin mm -hmm. tone. It's hard to see on the wood, but you see that, that flesh tone? It? Yeah. And what I like to do, I like to put, you know, um, yellow o ochre with a little white, mm -hmm. and then I will have the the lightest skin tone. So the really fair mm -hmm. white, white, white. Mm -hmm. Wow. What you are some that? of the basic colors? If I wanted to put an artist kit together, what are some of the basic oh. colors that I could get, especially at eighty dollars a tube? What what would be ideal to start with? Well, what you would want to do. Is in the is in is in the rainbow. You just have to l l wait until it rains, and you look up in the sky, and there is the <laughs> rainbow right there. Your and rainbow you have, color wheel. You have yellow. You have red. You have um, blue. Is, and you is have this, green. Know, you have this here. Yeah, is this, you have those colors, so and then cute. a lot of those colors is they that, mix the. Um, so cool. A lot of those colors you mix with. Um, each other, and they make all the co other colors. So you could get a little mini kit like this. You you can mm -hmm. sure, why not? You make what, you make that guy very happy. And what's this here? Is a little that is what I put my water in. Oh, that's so cool. That's what see the skin skin now. Yeah, look at that. Oh, I love it. Yeah, that's I how it works. It. Beautiful. Painting is magic. It's wonderful. It is magic. Magical. So Chaz, I have yes. a question for you. Okay. If you could never be an artist or ever paint again, yeah. what would you do? Well, I actually know how to do a lot of things. I love to cook, I love to, I love music, but I want to live the rest of my life to become the, the greatest artist that, that I can be. So I really have to put those things aside and really, really hone my life as a painter. Okay, but we're taking mm. your, your painting away. Okay, Minus so what would I be? What would oh, you be? Oh boy, I'd be one <laughs> confused soul, that's for sure. <laughs> but I think um, because I love eating, I'd probably be a chef. I'd be a damn good chef, you know? Because I love to eat, and I love to and see love people to eat. And I, love to, and I love to cook, yeah. But cooking is like painting. Most painters can cook. I'll have to take that in Yeah, because you're totally mixing ingredients, right? Yeah. Makes sense, right? 
Yeah, it makes sense. Perfect sense. Yeah, yeah. But I learned how to cook from my grandmother and my mother and my father. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's, it's in me. I love. I love it. I would become one of the greatest chefs in the world. Painting is like cooking. I like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. Well, thank thank you. you. Thank you for, for sharing this. Here's now, to... how much is this worth if I... Well, you hold on to that. It might be a million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Especially the palette.